Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 11.3, quadrilaterals. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's objective is to classify and compare quadrilaterals using their properties. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. All right, today's lesson is gonna focus on quadrilaterals. We've talked about quadrilaterals before. Quad means four, so we're going to be looking at four-sided shapes. Let's begin by reading the unlock the problem. A seating chart for a baseball field has many four-sided figures, or quadrilaterals. What types of quadrilaterals can you find in the seating chart? So we're looking over here. Well, let's look for just a second. I see that we have a square. I see we have this kind of shape back here that has four sides. Um, I see all along here, these shapes all have four sides. Over here, this looks like a rectangle. So we have lots of different four-sided shapes. Let's learn some of their names. A quadrilateral has four sides and four angles. So anything that has four sides and four angles, we can describe with the word quadrilateral. We can also get more specific. A parallelogram, which is right here, has two pairs of parallel sides. The opposite sides are congruent and parallel. So if you look, these two sides are parallel to each other and congruent. And we know that they're congruent because they have these little marks that tell us they equal the same. And these two sides are parallel and congruent and they also have marks that tell us that they are equal. So this shape is a parallelogram. Let's keep going. Our next shape is a rectangle. A rectangle, if you look here, is a parallelogram because it has two pairs of parallel sides that are congruent, but it also has four right angles. So if we look in the corner, here's one, two, three, four. So remember those little squares in the corner mean that that's a right angle. And if all four angles meet at a right angle, then it has four pairs of perpendicular sides. Our next quadrilateral is a rhombus. A rhombus is a parallelogram, because you can see it has two pairs of parallel sides that are congruent, but all four sides are congruent. It has four congruent sides. A square is a special type of parallelogram because it has two pairs of parallel sides that are all congruent and all four sides are congruent, so it's like a rhombus, and all four corners meet at right angles. So a square is a parallelogram with four congruent sides and four congruent angles. And our last type of quadrilateral is a trapezoid. A trapezoid has exactly one pair of parallel sides. These two here are not congruent, they're not equal, but they are parallel. So in the shape with the seating chart, we saw a parallelogram. We saw a rectangle. We saw a rhombus in the baseball diamond in the middle. We saw a square. And we saw trapezoids. Good job. The lesson activity on the next page we are going to do in class tomorrow. So be ready for the lesson activity. 
Today's lesson activity is the test prep question. The test prep question is on the last page of your lesson pages. It says, a quadrilateral has exactly one pair of parallel sides, but no congruent angles. What type of quadrilateral is it? Okay, well, it, we know that it has four sides, but it has only one pair of parallel sides. So let's start by drawing that. If I have a pair of parallel sides, but then I don't have right angles, I don't have any other parallel sides, I don't have any congruent sides, so let's connect these dots. Oh, I know what shape that is. It's not a rectangle, and it's not a rhombus, and it's not a parallelogram, because parallelograms have two pairs of parallel sides. So answer what kind of shape is this, and be ready to show your teacher tomorrow. Great job, fifth graders.